Hi, my name is Michael Atman from Iconesis and today we will be learning how to shoot sunglasses with Shutterstream product photography software. Sunglasses are extremely hard to shoot due to the reflective nature of the lens. However, with Shutterstream it makes it easy, fast and very efficient for the user of any skill level. Let's get started. Users will click on the Shutterstream desktop icon to launch the program and this will pull up the UI. On the left hand side we will see the image capture tools. We will get started by clicking the live view button. Live view will enable a real time preview of what the camera sees. Basically we're going to see my hand going in and placing my sunglasses inside of my lighting area. After I position my object the first thing I'll probably want to do is adjust my camera settings to adjust for my exposure of my lighting. As you can see here we can have full control of our aperture our shutter speed, our white balance, and our sensitization. The nice thing about this, as you can see changes being made, is the fact that in real time the exposure simulation is projected on the screen. After I find my optimized camera settings for my lighting environment, my next step in the workflow will be to crop the object. I can define the area in which I wish to shoot simply by clicking and dragging when the crop button is enabled. From here, I simply hit the snap button. Within seconds, the image is captured and instantly uploaded to the program for viewing. As you can see, a very high quality image captured in just seconds. Going on to our next angle of this object, I simply hit my preview button again. I position my object as required. And I adjust my crop over top of my object again and hit the snap button. Once again, within seconds, that image is captured and uploaded. Last, maybe we want one more view. That's the back. Maybe we'll uh, bring the arm in a little bit. And let's go ahead and shoot this. We'll hit the snap button again. As you can see, instantly uploaded to the computer. So we've shot three different images in just seconds that are already on our computer ready to go for whatever application we require. I'll select these three images. What I'll do is go into my editing tool. Uh, say I need to save these for my website and I need pure white backgrounds. Well, if we go and inspect with the eyedropper tool, we can see it's not quite a pure white background. So let's go ahead and make these images onto a pure white background. I will adjust my levels tool. And that's through one simple click. I'll drag it in. That window that you see popping out in the left hand side was the actual preview window. So it's actually showing you the preview and then after it's done applying that to the image then it'll go away. Uh, now once again inspecting the image we can see a pure white background and that was really quick. Uh, the cool thing about this is the fact that we've made these changes to one image now I can hit apply to all. It'll actually make those changes to the entire set of images that I've just shot. And it's done. You can see operation complete. We can go and take a look at these images. We can say perfect. Alright so we have our three images captured on pure white backgrounds. Now let's go ahead and save these images out for our uh, for our website. So I'll call these sunglasses. Now uh, this is the dynamic save tool that's integrated into the editing area. Very cool thing about this uh, this feature is you can save each one of these images multiple different times for whatever your requirements. So maybe I want to save this image as 150 pixels wide. 72 DPI resolution JPEG format saving to my website thumbnail images and this will be the thumbnail that I'll use in my website. Also maybe I want a product page image at 500 pixels wide 72 DPI saving to another folder and last maybe I want a thousand pixel wide image saving to my web ma uh, website master images at 72 DPI. Uh, additional options of this dynamic save tool is you could say apply a watermark that would actually be your own company logo stamped over top of the image also to transfer these images directly to an FTP site uh, both the FTP and the watermark options um, you can enter your own information upload your own watermark image in the options area inside the program when we're ready to save out these images I will hit OK and this will chug through the set of images and uh, output to their respective folders uh, processed ready to go for our website. Uh, if you compare this with kind of the standard photography workflows you'll understand how much more efficient and how much more 
easy it is to create high quality results. Operation complete, I will hit OK. And let's go and take a look. Maybe we'll take a look at the master images here. So taking a look, these images will be at a thousand pixels wide. Image one, image two, image three. High quality results captured in just seconds. Uh, anyways, very fast, very efficient, very easy product photography through Shutterstream by Iconosys. Thank you for your time.